Good morning, everyone. Welcome to day 24 of middle grade March. It reminded me, saying 24, that it is our dog Bonnie's birthday. I think that means she's eight. Yeah, I think she was born in 2015. That would make her eight. Yeah, I think that makes sense. Happy eighth birthday, Bonnie dog. We'll see if I can get some cute clips of her later today. Anyway, it was a morning. Nothing too exciting. I got ready super quickly this morning, so I was able to play Magna Tiles with the kids for a little bit. Got them dropped off at daycare, and now I'm at church. I don't think anyone is going to be here today. <laughs> it's my pastor's day off. It's uh, my youth director is taking her daughter uh, for a college visit, and so it's going to be pretty lonely today. That's okay. I'll get all my stuff done. I've got to get bulletins done, the PowerPoint for worship done. I've got to work on our monthly newsletter. We put out a newsletter at the end of every month for the next month. And yeah, that's what I'm working on today. Shouldn't be too exciting of a day. It's Friday. I mean, that's exciting. <laughs> uh, hopefully... I can read quite a bit of chains today, we'll see. I read probably 10 pages in Fast Feast Repeat last night. Yeah, I uh, will be interested to start that intermittent fasting. I think I should be able to do it. Uh, it'll just kind of be a mind over matter thing when I actually start because mm, I love to eat breakfast in the mornings and I like to eat ice cream at nights. So we'll have to figure that out, but it's okay. Anyway, uh, I will update you as the day goes on. We'll talk to you later. I just had lunch, I was home for a little bit, and now I've got to go run some errands. My usual lunchtime errands. Um, I wrote a sticky note on the back of my phone to remind me all that I had to do. I've got to run to the pharmacy to get some vitamins for me and my husband. I have to go get donuts for church, and then I have to go get some cash because tomorrow morning is the library book sale. And they only take cash. So I've got to go get cash because I'm going to the library book sale by myself with no kids. And it's going to be amazing. Anyway. I'm off to do my errands. And then back to work for the afternoon. <laughs> yeah, I'll help you. It's almost 50 degrees outside, so we're playing outside.
currently playing in the bathtub. Mabel has gone to sleep, and so Theo is going to go to sleep next. We'll read our books and everything. And then I am hoping to join Kimberly from Whimsical Narratives Sprints. You need to go poop? Yeah. Oh, okay. Then you better get out. <laughs> Here, I'll put out this towel for you. That was TMI for you guys. Oh, Willie is not actually sitting on the toilet. Uh, that was weird. And what is that? I think it's the doggies. The doggies. Anyway, I wanted to update you that I started a new book. Um, I was looking at some of the books that I've chosen as options for the neurodivergent character prompt for middle grade March. And one showed up on Scribd. It was called The Reason I Jump <laughs> by Naoki Higashida, I think is how you say it. Wipe his butt. Okay. Uh, it's getting real. Um, anyway. Oh, I gotta go. Okay. All taken care of. Anyway, I started The Reason I Jump. It is a book. Basically asks in questions. So someone is asking questions to a 13-year-old boy who has autism. And you really get a good look into his brain and why he does the things he does. Um... And, I mean, you don't want to generalize his experiences with all people with autism, but I feel like a lot of their um, habits and mannerisms might be similar. And so it's great to get it from one perspective. And actually, there was a foreword of this book written by a dad um, from the UK, and he first found this book and said it really helped him understand his child with autism. So... I'm really enjoying it. It is. It has some great questions, and this this young boy is answering so smartly. And actually, he doesn't answer verbally. He uses a um, alphabet grid, they call it, and he just kind of um, points at the letters, and someone is translating it for him, uh, writing the words that he writes with this alphabet grid. It really makes me think of one friend that Willie and I made in our old town. Um, who is our, our good buddy and uh, he has autism and uh, some of the things that Naoki Higashida writes about just makes me think about him. What's wrong? I'm talking to the camera. Oh, okay. I will show you. What do you want to say? Be all right. Yeah. Thanks, bud. And it's gonna be all right because the time says I'm gonna go home. Yeah. And it's gonna be all right because I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna be get ready and put on. And I'm gonna play. And I can. Um, yeah, we are doing all right. Great. Thanks, bud. Mm -hmm. They ask him one question, which is basically, why do you ask the same question over and over and over again? And that really reminds me of our friend in our old town, uh, because he asks the same question over and over again. And the reason is, they just don't remember things the same way that people without autism remember things. We have more of like a filing system with how things are remembered. And Naoki explained it as... Um, they're just little spots in this pool, and he's constantly picking up spots in his brain where a memory might come back, but you have to, like, keep reminding him. So that was really interesting to me. Anyway, uh, Theodore wants to watch his video that he just recorded, so I gotta do that. The kids are in bed. We got our ice cream. We're gonna watch a little bit of The Office, and then I'll get back to reading. I'm quite far in The Reason I Jump. It's a very short book. I think the audio at one and a half times the speed was really only two hours long. So I hope I can finish that one tonight. And, uh, but also spend some time with my hubby. We're going to watch The Office, right? Yeah. I think we just finished. Oh, yes. We just finished season one. 
of the office of the extended cut and so now we're gonna watch the second season which is the dundies that's the best episode it well all of them are so good but this one's really hilarious i bet your friday wasn't as wild and crazy as mine because i fell asleep watching the office <laughs> oh my one goodness yeah after one episode i uh fell asleep oopsie Anyway, so uh, no reading was done, no sprinting was done, I just fell asleep on the couch and it felt so cozy. <laughs> anyway, I uh, just looked and I have 25 minutes left of my audiobook, The Reason I Jump. Uh, so I'm going to try to see if I can stay awake and finish that. Wish me luck. But anyway, that's the day, it was a pretty good Friday. It's a beautiful afternoon to spend some time outside with my hubby and the kids. And I'm so looking forward to the library book sale tomorrow morning. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I will see you not tomorrow with another vlog. Tomorrow you will see my deck of TBR, but I will see you on Monday with a weekend reading vlog. Anyway, see you then. Bye.